No, nah. I'm saying something crazy. No, nah, nah, nah. you See, always push back. They, when no, because they, they, they get. I think they like when getting chose for what though. That's what. Uh, okay, all right. That's that's might be getting chose for the stroke, but yeah, yeah. 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 So, all right. So I, what I think needs to come back is a little bit of shame, mm. a little bit of shame, uh, because I I genuinely believe that. If women was on some Steve Harvey shit and say, yo, I'm waiting 90 days to sleep with a guy, guys would adapt to it. It'd of be, course, every guy would try to beat that. They're going to try to. It'd be a bunch of skeletons in the lobby. Like, <laughs> <niggas would> be, <laughs> like I'll be right back. Of course, it's going to be every guy's, you know, most guys goal to break that 90 day, you know, to break the 90 day. Yeah. But there would be a lot of guys that's going to be like, they're going to accept it because those are the rules that are laid out by the women. Like, they set the they set the standard of how men are gonna treat them. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think that right there is gonna apply to a lot of things on these lists. Cause we kind of brainstorm, we put together this list. Mm -hmm. And um just just hearing the the 90 days, I feel like it's gonna apply to a lot of things on this list. Yeah. So give it a little time. Let the coochie breathe, yo. I <laughs> would, I would, I would say, I would Your tell. I, I I would I would speak more or less to women. Mm. Uh, yo, you you guys set the standard right. of how men are gonna treat you. So yeah. if you allow dudes to get into you quickly, um, you run the risk of creating like a soul tie and that person oh, moving on. Oh boy, soul tie. What? Make believe. Or like or that's not real. Uh it could be make believe, but but I do believe that I do I do you know it it's probably one of those make believe terms that yeah. you know new 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 terms that came out. Yeah. But more or less I do believe like once you let somebody in you, yeah, you know, you transfer energy, it could be DNA, it could be a whole bunch of shit. Right. You know right, what I mean? Right. I do believe that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I believe that. Yeah. So that's the party, that's the party um, you know, analogy. Yeah, 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 yeah. The party's at your crib. Yeah. So, like, if you're having a party at your crib every weekend, deuce is coming, but they get to go home. But mm -hmm. your walls is all beat up and the carpet's tore up. And, yeah. you know, yeah, it's, it's yeah. your party. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, a little bit of that. Yeah. And um, I think that you got to realize that it's all about supply and demand, mm -hmm. right? So if, um, if nastiness is at an all-time high, it's not valued anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's a bunch of freak chicks out here. You, you got to do something different. Especially if you if you want to get some different results. If you just don't want to get clapped up, your yeah. cheeks get clapped up. So, yeah. that's yeah. what you got to do. Yeah. Freaks come out at night, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All we, got right. A, we got an interlude? Let's, 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 yeah. Yeah. Let's have a little intermission. Have a little fun. Break up the monotony. Fresh. I'm out of business. Isn't that sweet, you little money maker, you? Use new sweet fish every day. Keep that skunky cunt away. Use new sweet fish every day. Keep that skunky cunt away. Sweet fish. <laughs> all right. What's number three? Number three. All right. Is uh, communication issues. Miscommunication often arises due to resilience on texting texting and social media yeah. making it harder to convey emotions and intentions yeah. accurately yeah yeah can you break that down a little bit for the people like what's your what's your perspective on that um doing too much typing you know dude used to you know what's up with the jones in game like you know you you, you just have to work on it a little bit mm -hmm. talk you know is um, that a benefit for been a pro or a con for men because the ultimate the, goal for most, most guys are trying to to, yeah. to to get some it funds. helps you with quantity but it does hurt you with quality 
you know mm. if you could just send if you could just copy and paste a whole bunch of dms to a whole bunch of women you're gonna get a bite but if you could be the and honestly you don't know what you're you're getting neither but if you could actually cold pro, cold approach women and i know they say women are making it weird now i don't know but you know in our day like that's what we have to go do like we have to go and say hi to a young lady and introduce ourselves, and she can see everything about you that's why like all this weird stuff about like height and six pack and all that like it wasn't it wasn't really nothing about that back in the day because when that person was in front of you everything was 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 there you know what i mean you knew what, what well, you were getting i think i you think it, i think it was less unspoken it was un, it was unspoken at that time but it doesn't have to be spoken because it's physical you're Agreed. there you know what i mean yeah. like you can say no thank you or i got a boyfriend or whatever girl mm. you, you can yeah, say yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. but you know if if she not with all like it doesn't have to be all and it just gives men men set the bar and then it's giving them these weird kind of and you know expectations you know and it's giving them i feel like insecurities it's making everybody weird because mm. it's giving women too much attention yeah you know okay i would agree with that and then it's making dudes weird because you're not really getting that I, I don't even know what a date is like like i would love to sit in on a like a 22 24 25 year old date yeah and see like what that real interaction is like do dudes even ride around with a bottle in their car anymore like you know what I mean? Like, yo, first what? day you got the bottle in the car. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the in the in the trunk. Be you know careful, what I mean? Young you fellas. Yeah, be careful, young fellas. Yeah, be careful. Around. You used right. to do that? I'm a little something in the car. You know what I mean? You <laughs> have to have a little dip be like, before be you careful. go inside. Like, just take a little shot in the car, it's cool out, just talk a little bit, white waiting on our reservation. Mm -hmm. Breaking the ice, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. we, listen, you trying to have a vibe, you know what I mean? You trying to vibe with somebody, you trying to, you know, even with like conversation when you get that number and and you, and you call and then you call on that work it's not that corny grand rising well, GB, like no i don't believe this generation can relate to a jamaica avenue trip you know what i mean where it's you and your boys and you run through the coliseum and you're just gonna try something that passes that looks and i ain't gonna hold nice you, you got aspirations just jamaica go avenue for it in vietnam like, yeah, but you I go was for a Rose Bell Field dude. Like I, I couldn't do that was, Jamaica. That was my second. Too rough for Jamaica. <laughs> no, you gotta go for it. It's, it's, it's the belly of the beast. You have to. Yeah. You have to try. You have to try. Have you ever you tried? Try. You've tried on Jamaica of Avenue, course. right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, impact. Like it was never like I'm going out well, there for that. No, but listen, but, yeah. a win on Jamaica Avenue. Oh, that's a win. Queens chicks low key was looking for Long Island dudes. Come they on, felt like Long time? Island dudes had that bread. time. I married one. Listen, I married a chick. They, they, yo. But my point is, when you come to Roosevelt Field now, after have oh, spending time on the Ave and in the trenches, yeah. Green Acres Mall. How about that? How about Green Acres Mall? Green that Acres, was more Green of Acres a was, right. Does that make more Green sense? Acres. When you out there, you know, if you shooting shots yeah. at Green Acres, and it's like shout out to Buck, y'all. <laughs> his mom used to get his um uh, her hair done in you know, Green Acres, so we used to drive with her there, and then we just walked the mall. Mm. You know, Green Acres was our stomping ground for a little while, yeah. But it's just you know you learn and you get turned down and you I realize think, yo yeah. it's not the worst. She says no, it's not the worst thing in the world. I think it helps you no. build up. A it, callous, it calluses you, you Absolutely. right? But I think if it was utilized the right way, yeah. Today's generation could have deeper, more yeah. meaningful relationships. Yeah, right because. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. When we like, I think in our day we were more base, more quantity based versus quality based, right? Okay. All right, it, it it would be like, yo, I met a chick that's good looking, right? And then mm. it's like, how many chicks you could bag up? Yeah, but, but Ron, if if I'm gonna give a little push push back on that, like we all got the good looking girl's phone number, who was a a potato on in um on the phone. I agree. Like, we stopped talking to mad girls because they had no conversation, right? Like, so I think it. I, I think it kind of weeded are, out a lot of things. Like, it kind of weeded out people. Like, talking to people weeds out people. All right, you know why? But you know, you you know why? Is because when you bag a chick up, yeah, is what's your name? Mm. 
where you where you from? Yeah. You got a boyfriend? Yeah. Can I get your number? It's that that's the basic foundation of a pro, pro you know, that's that's what you that's what you know, right? The boyfriend shit will shoot you in the foot. Never ask if you had a boyfriend because it just kind of leads that thing over. No, for real. Let for real. Them, let, yeah, yeah. Let them tell you. Yeah. <laughs> right? I, I ain't asking that shit. Right. But e either <laughs> either way, either way. When I see you on social media, yeah, I can see what your interests are. All that I can see where you're from. Mm -hmm. It's mad shit I could bring up and talk to you about, right? Meeting a chick like face to face and that first call is sort of like a cold call in a sense. Cause yeah. you don't really know her. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Now you just know she was attractive enough for you to approach and get her phone number. Mm -hmm. But and then you could you could get on the phone with her and then if she wasn't if she don't give you answers mm. you don't really know what to talk about you don't know what to bring up now if you look at her social media profile you could be like yo you you go to the gym i see you in the gym mm. i see you live in you live in uh uh ohio right. cincinnati ohio how's right. it out there how the Bengals or some shit. you know what i mean right. it's mad shit you could talk about with a person based on that but i just think people are not utilizing it the right way the way it was supposed to be right right let me give you a scenario for now let me see how you would feel if you were in the dating market now you were a guy and you send a girl a dm on her profile a couple of vacations mm -hmm. she she works and um she goes out to dinner a lot it's a lot of food pictures and stuff like that mm -hmm. right um you're on a date the conversation is decent you get to the joint you get to the restaurant her food come out and she takes a picture of her food. Now you thinking like, okay, she takes pictures of food on all her dates. This is what she does. Like, are you like, how are you? Are you judging this woman? Um, or you'll take her at face value still. I don't know. I never, and I'm not. I'm I'm being straight up. Like, mm -hmm. um, I just think I'm. Um, if if you you could have been on a date every day that week mm -hmm. I, that don't mean i think that matter. every other guy that you probably dated you didn't date me yet so mm -hmm. all right well you on this date so okay. it don't even matter you understand oh, okay. what i'm saying so you don't you don't really judge her about for her frequency no not okay. not i don't know if she's dating mm -hmm. like all right if if you start to get into more conversations and be like oh yeah i'm sleeping with this guy and that guy that guy you know what i mean it, that's something different but right. like you know, coming in to certain situations, you're going to have to compete, especially if it's a, if it's a decent looking chick or mm -hmm. a good looking chick. Right. It's going to be other suitors out there. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. it's just about you being confident enough to be like, yo, all right, well, you got these, you got you talking to a couple of dudes, you know, let's try to. Eventually, you're going to get to the point where it's going to be me. You would think that no matter what. So even if it was like NBA dudes or or like athletes or anything like that, I don't know. That's, it, no, no, that's, no, no, no. I do, I do know. No, no, I no, I do know. Right. I do know. Okay. But chances are, as if you can tell if a chick is into you, I'm not gonna like yo. I'm not the type of dude that's like she like yo, hey, like giving me a cold shoulder, and I'm like. Oh, uh, yo, let me do this. Let me do that. Let mm -hmm. me take you out. Let me do this to try to garner your attention. Nah. If you're giving your attention somewhere else yeah. or whatever, yeah. I'll take that as a as a sign you're not really into me, and I'm fine with that. I'll keep would it moving. You, would you judge? Smoke show, smoke show. Would you would you judge a woman by who she used to date? She used to date scammers and drug dealers and athletes. Dudes were fast, like dudes were getting money. And probably. I probably would. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. I, right, I right, probably right. would. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Yeah. Um should 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 men if you date? if you have if you have a that's the thing. If you have a track record of dating a certain type of guy, yeah, and that that guy on the totem pole, ethically, morally, whatever, like that, mm. he's not up there. Like, yeah. yeah, I probably would judge. Let's let's reverse engineer it. Why you think that they're used to being spoiled and they're spoiled people now? Like they're used to a transaction. You you think that you wouldn't be able to give them enough to keep them? 
uh, happy or to compete with their past? Like, why? Why would you pass on them? You got to give me more, more information on the female. Like, what type of person is she dating? Mm. What what is what is her type? Then? Like, um, who you, who you, like not even her type. Like, what are, what are the type of guys that normally she fucks with? Her last four boyfriends were scammers. She got a bigger watch than you. <laughs> it, it, it's yo honestly it ain't about it's it's about the fact that like yo you might you might be into into that lifestyle mm-hmm. to that excitement of yeah. like yo this nigga scamming like yeah. there's a chance niggas could kick in the door and yeah. and you know and that turns but her how on. much would you trust her that she likes you because there would be no she wouldn't be around if she didn't like you you know what i mean because you really don't have those things to offer her so she's really digging you but how much would you trust her not to go back to that life because she's used to be because she's been too spoiled. I don't know. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't yeah. even think about that. Like, okay. right. like yo, you yeah. go, you go. You go, you go. <laughs> you go, yeah. you go. You like, go. yo, go, what go. I'm gonna do? I can't beg you to stay. You hear that, fellas? If you ready to go, you could go. Yeah. You know what I mean? Go, like, go. like I if if I ain't marry you or nothing like that, like yeah, yeah. what's the fight for? You, you know what I mean? Nah, if we ain't got nothing together and we just I got some like for you, yeah. I I I could I, I can get what over I that. Got for you. Yeah, I I could just I could move on from you that. 